We're here in front of some um, Seminole pink hibiscus to talk about uh, treating bad nematodes and grubs. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. Hi, I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's Corporation, and this is Chip Valentino. And we're here with uh, 10 million uh, beneficial nematodes and a beautiful uh, pink seminal hibiscus uh, to tell you all about uh, some uh, productive ways to keep your plants uh, and your landscape healthy. Bad nematodes in uh, gardening is really a terrible thing to have in your soil. And people that have ba bad nematodes, many times it prevents them from gardening. They pretty much give up because the bad nematodes eat the roots and make it so you can't grow anything. And it's very, um, it's destructive and it's discouraging. And then the typical treatments over the years are almost as destructive and discouraging because what was what used to be used is harsher and harsher chemicals to try hard to kill those nematodes but the problem with that is it not only killed the nematodes but it made a soil that couldn't um, sustain productive gardening so you either had the nematodes or you had this lifeless excuse for a soil that didn't um, wasn't able to grow vital plants that that produced well not quite the same thing for grubs. Grubs have a little more um, possibility of control without damaging. Um, usually they're a problem in lawn, um, and so it is a little less of a problem with grubs. Uh, but chemicals don't work very effectively in either one and produce the same kinds of problems in either trying to control grubs or trying to control uh, bad nematodes. So we're going to explore productive ways of dealing with that problem that bring the life back in the steps of gardeners when they uh, consider how to get rid of bad nematodes. It doesn't involve using chemicals that kills everything and makes your life even more miserable than the nematodes themselves. So the best way to address and get rid of uh, bad nematodes and grubs is with good nematodes. And I've got some good nematodes in my hand right here that you can buy um, from companies like uh, Arbico. Good nematodes are a microscopic beneficial um, microbe and they're one of the higher forms. So as we've explained before, bacteria is the lowest form and then you start moving up Fungi are a little bigger, they eat bacteria, then protozoa are a little bigger, they eat fungi and bacteria, and then good nematodes are a little higher than that. Essentially kind of a powder, and all in these 10 million little microscopic uh, uh, miracle workers are in the powder, and uh, so you do it kind of like a wettable powder, so you mix water and then you can spray it on, uh, preferably at night. Um, and then you water it in over the next course of the next few days because light can uh, damage them. One of the problems uh, with using them, not a problem, but it's a challenge, is that if your soil isn't structured, let's say you had years and years of using chemical fertilizers and pesticides, that's probably why you're having problems with grubs and, and bad nematodes, then your soil isn't going to be real receptive to good nematodes and it's not going to have good it's not going to have food for good nematodes. So that's one thing that you need to take into account is it's best to do some preparation uh, before you apply the good nematodes so that you're providing a good home for them. So maybe you don't want to buy nematodes. That's a ridiculous thing to do, buy these 10 million little microscopic uh, microbes. The great news is you can make your own, you can build your own and you can do that in your own soil. And that's really what the whole John and Bob's 
philosophy and products are about is building that soil uh, with complex life and that complex life leads to good nematodes. Good nematodes are one of the higher life forms and so uh, as we say you, you, you start with the bacteria, you, you introduce fungi and food for fungi and attractants for fungi, same thing for protozoa and all of that li uh, life in the form of lower forms of life leads to good nematodes and it's good nematodes that, can, that will, even if you grow them your own, you don't have to buy them and apply them. Um, a good healthy soil will have lots of good nematodes in it. So that's our goal and that's the whole premise of what we're doing here. And that complex life is allowing us um, to grow plants like this hibiscus uh, in areas that don't usually grow hibiscus. Usually it's too cold for it here and blooming uh, in right at the end of October. So, it, so that kind of healthy life not only addresses almost every pest and disease there is, but it addresses the vitality of plants. So let's say you have uh, bad nematodes and it pretty much ruins your gardening prospects and your yard would look pretty um, depleted when you have bad nematodes. Everything looks dreary and nothing will grow right and uh, those bad nematodes eat the roots. And you follow this system of essentially changing the way you're gardening and focusing on the life in the soil because it's the life in the soil that is the best way of on an ongoing permanent way addressing bad nematodes. Anything else you try is a temporary fix. This is a permanent long-term fix to bad nematodes and that is we're going to build that soil with um, you know you can use things like uh, compost that you can make yourself, our products, uh, earthworm castings, all the things we've talked about on other of our videos here that uh, build complex life in the soil. The neat thing is you've not only addressed uh, bad nematodes and grubs, but, but with this style of gardening, you've addressed every pest and disease there is uh, in terms of gardening because life in the soil has the best chance, nature's mechanisms are the best way to address almost every pest and disease. There's a lot of mysterious blights and fungi that if you go to a nursery, no, that no one will know exactly how to treat it. Say, really, there's nothing for that. We don't know how to treat it. Well, in every case, the best way to treat, even the ones we're not sure about, is with life in the soil. That gives you your best chance. And so it makes the most sense to build that life in the soil and kill not only which that life will eat those bad nematodes and eat those grubs um, before they turn into other damaging pests, uh, but it will also be there to prevent every ever other pest and disease there is. It'll, they'll, that life will be there to feed these, um, these seminal pink hibiscus and uh, do the best job of allowing you to be a successful gardener. Hey there, friends. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website, www.johnandbobs.com.